Hey, what's up, everybody? We're here at Big Tech's Gym. Today, we're going to have some fun. Uh, don't wear your heart on your sleeves or don't watch this. Here's what's going to happen. Uh, Chris here, he's about to read off some funny reviews of complaints people have. And I'm all about listening to complaints and I'm all about revising shit that's real and needs to be done and fixed. I definitely like, though, to fucking say what's real about this motherfucking shit also. So let's see what happens. Let's see what people got as far as reviews go. We'll do the bad first. The lowest is what I'm told we're going to start at. And then we'll work our way up to the highest. For all those of you who have been reviewing us with positive, thank you so much. I appreciate the love you always give Big Text Jim. Let's get started so I can make fun of some motherfuckers. So Raymond raced at one star three days ago. He says, to start off, I love this gym and I give it five stars. Had I not just had this experience, don't listen to the front desk about keys. I was told by multiple front members today that keys could be left up. It's completely safe and there never had been an accident. Yesterday, my keys were taken. The response from the gym has been underwhelming. The front desk staff member didn't even ask for my name, phone number, or email address when I approached them with this issue. All right, that's all you gotta say. Here, I'm gonna help you guys out and understand this situation. So we already knew his name, first and last. We already knew the time and date that the keys were missing. We explained very carefully that the cameras, while they're okay cameras, they're Arlo, semi-expensive HD, 4K, blah, 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 they still have a hard time when several people are standing at the front desk, zooming through the human body and reaching the keys while somebody's grabbing them. So we don't have yet the x-ray technology for the cameras. So I just need you to understand that if you do put your keys there, it's your personal belongings and anybody is responsible for their own goddamn shit. You're responsible for your personal belongings. And one day, maybe, I will grab a camera that can x-ray through the person standing there, covering the key ring, and actually see which key they're grabbing. But until we buy x-ray cameras, I'm sorry, we have let you down once again. What's the next review? This is six years ago, one star. Gym is unorganized, and equipment has always moved around. My biggest problem with them <laughs> is that I, I canceled my membership in January, and they pulled money out of my account. Six months later, they state I still had money that was never pulled out of my account and so on. Okay, so if you happen to have owed money, whether it be a month or six months, we still have to pull out what you owed, even though you canceled. As far as organization in the gym goes, I will not deny this. Big Tech's gym has events all the time. So yes, you could walk in one day, know where everything's at, and walk in the next day and it'd be completely inside out, upside down and reversed. That is just how it is. I don't think it makes that big of a difference, but there are some people who walk in and are like, this machine's been here for five years. Why is it not here for five years? Well, because I added new equipment and had to move things around and change it in. Because every time we do an event, whatever profit, if any, most of the time, never, we make any kind of money off of it, we bring in new equipment. So things are gonna get moved around. I've got 10,000 square feet to work with and I do the best I can, but yes, it's going to get moved around. I also don't like things staying the same. It drives me nuts. So for all you out there who don't like things being moved around, I don't know what to tell you because <laughs> I'm going to keep moving shit out and I'm going to keep having events. This is a good one. Jeremy, um, a year ago, they really need to add a shirts required, required policy. Recently, there's oh, a group God. Of there's a group of people walking around almost naked while filming other almost gym members. Almost naked. It, My it, fucking dramatic. If you want to work out in peace, don't go here. I wonder who told him. He was talking about the streamers for sure. Okay. First of all, guys, are we really doing some fucking body shaming shit? Like guys can't walk around with their shirts off because they're not supermodels? Like what the fuck? Don't be a bitch. Everybody knows this. There are signs everywhere that say you could be filmed. That's kind of every gym. I get it. There are some gyms that don't like people being filmed and they don't want you to film. I feel like it's kind of free marketing advertisement. I very much appreciate it. As a private business owner, I don't have all the money in the world to spend on marketing. So when people come in here and offer to market by posting and videos and all that kind of stuff, I'm grateful because I am a small speck. This guy a year ago says, always packed, terrible music blasting, waste of money kids. Always packed. Thank God we're always packed. <laughs> I'm glad I've been able to pay rent the last couple of days. Thank you. Uh, hmm, complaints about it always being packed. Yeah, I mean, it's a gym. People seem to enjoy it. Quite a few come here. Uh, I can understand that you would want less people in the gym, but that generally means it's a shitty gym. 
Good gems are back. This is, now we're moving up to three stars. Oh, we're man. Moving up to three stars two years ago. It's okay. At least it's only $50 a month. It's crowded. The bench I tried was broken. This gym is for influencers or really want to be influencers, if that's your thing. Big Tech's gym is an influencer gym. <laughs> We're going to put a clip of the no, no. thing, right? You guys need to go to Iron Forge and just call it an influencer gym. That's an influencer gym. And I love that gym, too, because that's also my gym. But Big Tech's, I can't imagine anybody ever thinking it's an influencer gym. Most of the motherfuckers here working out at our video record, if you guys don't know, and I'm pretty sure you're noobs to this kind of shit because you're saying this, check it out. They're doing form techniques to send to their coaches. Ain't a motherfucker posting shit online, 90% of them. They're all like, how's my form? I'm about to compete. They're all serious athletes and all serious athletes don't have the money to pay somebody in person because they're spending it on competitions, protein powder, and fucking whatever else they need to get to the next fucking level. So man the fuck up and quit bitching. Three stars a year ago, only gym with some good equipment, but I have to write a, a review because I've been getting infuriated by recent groups of new members that won't even show any respect to fellow gym members. Stay away from this gym if you don't want to wait one hour for gym equipment. Is he triggered? <laughs> a bit, yeah. I mean, I don't even have a response. I'm triggered. Uh, Go back to the fucking pack. snowflake. I know. We're going up to four stars here. This is also a really long one, so I'll paraphrase it. Five years ago, I visited Big Tech for the first time. This gym you see today is drastically different than it was at first visit. They've changed so much. When my local gym closed after the land was bought by another apartment developer, Big Tech was the only option that was close to my home. Uh, and it was my favorite. Uh, if, if you're looking for a locally owned veteran run business that supports this community, this is the perfect place Big Techs gives back to their community. Wow, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Again, guys, I always say, even the negative I appreciate if I'm able to actually use it in a constructive way to make this gym a better place. The positive, I'm obviously grateful for the positive. Thank you very much. We do try our best to give everything we have to the community because it's because of you guys that we exist. Another four star by Jude and it says, had a great lift here for only $5. They have all the equipment you need for a good pump. Vibes are awesome with pipe music and lifters of all experience levels. That'd be our great fucking DJ. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you again for that fucking review. That's awesome. Yeah, we're never gonna, if you ever have a question about this, we will never change our fucking day passes from $5. We wanna be accessible to everybody. If you can pay for a gallon of gas, you can pay to fucking come here and get a workout in and become a healthier, better you. This is a five stars by Oh Kevin. shit, we're Woo! moving to five stars. Ago. This is a gym. You come here to get big. It's the real <laughs> deal, 100% recommend. Very accommodating, out of counters, looking to drop in. Love everything about this place. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. It is a gym, thank you. All right, I one star. Um, this is by someone that claims their name is the Army of God, 116. I totally disagree with the no contract statement. If you cancel your no contract membership within 100, within 14 days of your next payment, you get billed another month and sign a paper that says to cancel your contract, LOL. Place is, a dirt, place is dirty and full of roid heads. 55 a month is kind of high, unless you are one of those people that just want to be seen on the brighter side. I still have a month and five days to work out after canceling my no contract membership. Uh, last time I checked, it is no contract. We simply ask that you give us 14 days before you cancel so that we can efficiently have time to cancel the billing without it rebilling you. Because if you give us less than 14 days, there's no proper way for us to make sure that we're able to catch the billing in time and stop it. All of you guys who come in and you cancel at fucking 11.59, there's no fucking way I can turn around before 12 and make sure your billing didn't come out. You can't believe how many times this happens. I swear to God, somebody calls me like all the time. They're like, hey, if I cancel, I know it's like two hours before midnight. Can I still fucking, you know, like, no, dude, it's impossible. It's virtually fucking impossible. Like, why would you even think it's possible? It's not, it, it's insane. It's fucking awesome. The difference is that normal people, when they do a contract, like what he's trying to imply we do, is they make you pay for the rest of the fucking contract. And we don't. We're like, nah, you're canceled, you're good, but you're gonna pay for that next month if you didn't do the 14 days because I like to give my front desk employees enough time to fucking do what they're supposed to do properly. This is another one star. Yeah, I love um, them. Had to move and cancel my membership over the phone and they changed, charged me an additional 25 to cancel for an online processing fee, i.e. emailing me a form. The gym itself was okay, but it just feels like it's 
like dragging people for cash. $25. <laughs> okay. Big Tex has over 300 reviews and a 4.8 average. So that's pretty damn close to perfect. That is, that is, but we can't please everybody. I pretty much read all the bad ones. Oh, wow. That's so, actually not that bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's like yeah. That Look, there's always gonna be people that are unhappy with this. And again, like I said, when it comes to constructive criticism, I'll take it all day long. I'm not a little bitch. I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. I got no problem doing shit to make it a better gym. $25? <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know what though? It, it, it makes sense though, because last thing I'm gonna end on guys, somebody come in one day and complained about $5 fucking day passes. Can you believe that shit? And they were like, it doesn't make any sense. Why is this day pass? I'm like, we're the cheapest in the fucking goddamn state, probably world, man. I don't know. I gotta do some research to make sure that's true. But I'm gonna say this, $5 and you're gonna tell me I'm too much? Like you probably can't afford to eat at that point. Yeah. You probably shouldn't be worrying about working out. You need to go find out a place that you can fucking eat. I don't know, man. Yeah. That's just me. McDonald's stopped selling those dollar value meals. Yeah. You got problems. Inflation. <laughs> yep, inflation. All right, wrap us, wrap, do us do the outro. All right uh, that's it, guys. I had a lot of fun playing with these reviews. I hope I didn't offend anybody. Thanks, Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Big Tex Jim. See y'all later. Hoochie.